Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Member Request. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back, mm, <laughs> go back? <laughs> it's my first time recording since vacation, so it's already going great. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. That's on Mondays, on Fridays, my top tier patrons, my Millennial Movie Members can pick any movie of any year, of any genre, and I gotta watch it. Now today's movie, if you have not seen the title or read the thumbnail, is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure from 1989. This comes from Millennial Movie Member 1000th Ghost in the comments or Chris in real life. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, oh my shirt, I got mooned, cause moon pies are the best. Also, this is the last setup in the spare bedroom before Halloween's and before I moved to Nashville. So we still got the Freddy, Freddy glove, bet and dot from American Horror Story Freak Show. Anyways, and a lit candle on here and it's actually really wobbly. So probably not the best idea, but <laughs> you don't come here for good ideas. So anyways, that's that on that about that. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure from 1989. The only thing I know about a Ted is like a few years ago, there's a movie with a teddy bear whose name is Ted. Is is this that Ted or is this totally different? I don't know. I don't know who's gonna be in it. It's only an hour and a half long, so I'm guessing it's gonna be kind of a comedy. If it's gonna be like raunchy or like silly humor. Is it a parody of something? I don't know, I don't know. We are jumping right on into today's Millennial Movie Member Request, which is the 1989 Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I love this title sequence. Keanu Reeves! So my only uh, interaction with him has been Speed. So I'm excited to see him in a different movie because like I didn't get the hype of him in Speed. Does that make sense? I am just genuinely confused about this so far, but also excited. Hi, welcome to the future. Oh. <laughs> Bowling averages are way up. Mini golf scores are way down. Yeah, as they should be. 700 years ago, the two great ones why do I feel like I'm watching a documentary about Heaven's Gate? <laughs> and I'm Ted Theodore Logan. Yeah! He's such a baby! Bring back men in crop tops. Bring it back. All body types welcome. Bring back the crop tops for men. Guess we use too much power. You shouldn't have cranked it to 11. Well, how can we have decent instruments we don't really even know how to play? <laughs> that <is> <laughs> <laughs> That's why you need any Elon. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm already gonna love this movie? Can I just go ahead and make that assumption? Stand up. <laughs> Who was Joan of Arc? Noah's wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good answer. Great leaders such as Socratic Method, the world. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing so good. You have flunked every section of this class. That takes talent. Your report had better be something. Very. Well, I can't wait to see what they come up with because I feel like it's going to be really special. It's really going to be something. Want a ride? Her bangs! How much hairspray was required to make bangs stand up like that? I have to go to Oates Military Academy, sir. Why? This movie, Dead Poet Society, why is it always straight to military school if, you, if the parents don't like what you're doing? A phone booth? Is this how Doctor Who was inv invented? Like, I also haven't seen any Doctor Who episodes. I just know there's a phone booth. Ten. George Washington. One. I love the air guitar. Welcome to the Hall of Presidents. <laughs> oh my god, my guy, come on. It's your mom, dude. I was gonna say, why are you looking at your mom like that? Yeah. Oh, I see. Probably not his real mother. Stepmom. In your son's bedroom? Your stepmom is cute though. Shut up. Stepmom. Remember when I asked her to the prom? Shut up! Yeah, weird dynamic right there. Weird age gap, man. But you know what? Not my circus, not my monkeys. The lady in that car over there said that Marco Polo- Why would you believe a woman at a gas station? Okay, well, I love this gas station is a circle K. I love a good circle K. My excellent friend. Do you know when the Mongols ruled China? <laughs> that 
that's your question you ask a man who just walked out of phone booth from the sky? Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Yeah, I would imagine. Yep, that's accurate. Can definitely agree. And we us said what we us are saying right now. And we are you together. We are them. What number are we thinking of? 69! <laughs> As you should. As you should. Give my love to the princesses. The princesses? Whatever drugs they're on, that's what I want to try. Yeah, are you going to call someone and get the answers? You just saw it come from the sky and then go through the earth. You think it's a normal phone booth? He's just going to make a phone call? I'm like 10 minutes into this movie and I'm just having the best time. I'm having the best time. French have just invaded. I mean, I wouldn't have wanted to just be there in the action. Okay, well now we're definitely altering timelines here. Definitely doing that. Can we go anywhere we want at any time? Is somebody get Napoleon out the tree? We'll give you the number of any place you want to go. He's going to trust them to do this themselves. You're on your own. Well, I just don't feel like that's a good idea for Bill and Ted. This has been a most unusual day. Very much so. We got one historical figure here. You can't just kidnap all the historical figures. That's not how that's gonna work. We have decided to collect other important figures from history. These are not Funko Pops, babies. He'll take care of you. I need y'all to realize there's probably a language barrier here. Let's go back into history. Okay, but... <laughs> Y'all can bet your sweet butts that I'm gonna start doing that. This is Deputy Van Halen. Deputy Van Halen? Beef oven? Uh, is there one? <laughs> How did you miss that, dude? <laughs> do what you gotta do! But you can get shot here, Ted. Yeah, everybody's got about three guns on them, so y'all need to be big careful. Kind of surprised more people aren't paying attention to you considering how you look. Whoa, he didn't even card us, dude. <laughs> Correct. It's Billy the Kid. Oh, that's the one you gotta take back. What I win, I keep. You win, I keep. So you keep either way. Okay, you know what? This escalated very quickly here. Get it, girl! Sign me up for that. Whoa. Whoa. Not the worst place to end up. <laughs> he went back in. I don't blame him. Billy the kid is not gonna ask what a phone booth is. He's not gonna ask what you're getting into. It's under so crates. Oh yeah. <laughs> True wisdom consists in knowing that you know nothing. Amen. True. Us, dude. We're from the future. Another very large language barrier. It's dust in the wind, dude. Socrates! What an auto. Blancorio. <laughs> so are the days of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> this phone book's gonna get real crowded real quick. Not bad, eh, Socrates? <laughs> Socrates! <laughs> All we need is one more speaker. From They're gonna bring them in, like show and tell? Personages of historical significance. Well, it's not really historical significance that they're currently living in, so it's just current significance, I would suppose. Guard the booth. Watch Socrates. I don't think I'm ever gonna get tired of the Socrates joke. I don't think I'm gonna. Love, dude. I think I found the princesses. Those are historical. Babes. I was gonna say, historical women are still women of history, and it is a history report. No, you're blended in. You're. I would never notice a difference. Heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they I should have done. If it wasn't, you know, so early in the morning, I should have took half a gummy and watched this. Oh no, this. <gasps> no, stop it. Bogus. <laughs> got stabbed and all you can say is bogus <laughs> oh sick nice job Ted <laughs> that's so funny was that 80s for like people saying no homo <laughs> I bring to you a message of love oh this is good this is going well 
Now this Henry was the one that likes to behead people, right? So like, watch yourself. How's it going, royal ugly dudes? <laughs> hmm. Iron Maiden? Excellent! Not the band! Not the band, Ted! Hey, I was right! Real big into beheading. Oh god, Billy the Kid didn't keep up with the phone boot! Okay, so where's Socrates? Where's Billy the Kid? How do we get out of this beheading? A most serious turn. <laughs> One could say that. Ah! Yay! <laughs> I love it! You gotta get your girls! Ah, uh, well, you know, you're being chased right now. Let's worry about that later. You can always come back to this part of history. You, you know, if Billy still has his gun, you could, you could really do some ja damage right now, you know? A guy swinging a mace. Is that what that's called? A mace? A guy swinging a mace ain't nearly as scary if you can stand back and pop a cat. Maybe one of y'all should have stayed in the driver's seat in case something like this happened. Ted, you haven't checked your watch in a hot second. Wow, see, y'all went from almost flunking out of school to the gods of this world. I support this salute. <laughs> Excellent. Yep, I support that. Party on, dude! Yeah! Yo! Is this Chuck E. Cheese? Ziggy Zig! <laughs> the high five! Stop it. I mean, it matches your other medals. Good job, Napoleon. It's Sigmund Freud. <laughs> Tons. Why? Don't say tons. Have you wound your watch recently? Oh, yeah. Let's steal him, too. How'd they say his name earlier? Bathoven? Wow, he really just be minding his own business. He really just did not stop playing. Good for him. Okay, since this is gonna be copyrighted music anyway, this is making me think, if I had a time traveling machine and I could go back to anywhere, who would I wanna meet? I would love to see Egypt, like Cleopatra, maybe. You could also lure me from my throne with a, with a Twinkie as well. I'd like to go back in time and meet Lucille Ball. Abraham Lincoln, what a good idea. What's wrong with the food? The weight limit has been exceeded. Why do they have Napoleon in charge of keeping score? He ain't never played this game before. And it's Napoleon, you know he's gonna cheat. This guy's commitment to his character is so impressive. Oh, Napoleon. They're gonna leave him there. This is not going well. This is, okay, how many things can go wrong? Seeing him in that getup with the bowling shoes, so funny. Oh Lord, we going way back. Bit more enjoyable. Very smarter than to pack snacks though. That's a good idea. Oh my God, that is so gross. I would imagine so. Like y'all just discovered fire. Look dudes, we gotta go. Poor Rufus is just reliving this a million times. Dial one number higher. But if it's already tomorrow, have you missed your final? 10 hours left. You got two hours. You haven't wound your watch. Don't forget to wind your watch. I would wind it right now so you don't re-forget. It's his mom. Stepmom. This is uh, Dave Beef Oven. <laughs> Bill, I'm not taking you anywhere until you do your chores. Um, don't you have to go to school today to do your report, actually? Now, hold on a second. They didn't have irons back then. Abraham Lincoln wouldn't know how to do that without burning it. You know, at least he only put it on his mouth. Only on his mouth. Socrates, watch out for your robe, dude. Yeah, if that thing gets sucked in, you big Nike. In which Antoinette and her husband were beheaded. I definitely wouldn't be asleep doing this. On her day, Marie Antoinette said, let them eat cake. I know, why are they at the mall? Like you have kidnapped all these historical figures. So just go do your thing so you don't flunk. As soon as we find Napoleon, okay? Oh, because I lost Napoleon. I had for completely forgot about that guy. Greatest leaders in San Dimas? He was a dick. It's a good reason to leave somebody. How are we gonna find him? Why were y'all talking through the fence when the end is right there? Right there? Where would we go? Skate park. Waterloo. <laughs> The water slides. Why did I forget that that, that's a big thing? God, you could fall out of that one. Well, at least in your outfit, you wouldn't get sunburned. Sacabla. Now you see all these kids doing it. You should know that you could handle it. I love water parks, but you know when you get the, these like little hangnails and you pull it and it like rips all your skin off? I get really scared for some reason that like my like thigh skin will get stuck in one of the creases, but I'll keep going and it'll just rip off my skin. Uh, that's one of my irrational fears. I thought he was gonna like chunk the kid. 
Your little swimmy's getting a little see-through, baby. You know this part of the movie was so much fun to film. You know it was. Now they've lost five. Joan of Arc, what you thinking about, baby? What you thinking about? Get into it! His sandals. <laughs> sandals, that's the thing you're looking at is a sandals? What you may call me, Siki. I love that he has a corn dog. This is just a fun little moment. Way to go, Egghead. Mmm, <laughs> 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 just the thought of that metal bat on my teeth stressed me out. Get into it! Well, not that much. The amount of chaos. You remember earlier at the bowling alley when I said, oh my god, what else could go wrong? A lot. The answer was a lot more could go wrong. Okay, Beethoven really ain't bothering nobody. He's just playing a whole bunch of instruments, so like, he shouldn't get arrested for that. He was literally minding his own business putting on a great show. Oh my god, now you gotta find all your people at the mall. You still have to go back and do your report. You're gonna miss it and you're gonna flunk out. Tell me about your mother. Don't be into that, ma'am. Alright, what's your name? Abraham Lincoln. Oh my god, not Ted's dad. San Diego's high school football room! Okay. You did it. What are we gonna do? That's what I've been asking, Ted. Came up with the rest of those wackos. I am a lawyer, you Was Abraham Lincoln really a lawyer? I don't know. How about behind that sign? So are they there there currently? See? Whoa, wow. Yeah. Wow! Over now. Listen, that man right there, he had one line, and he took it serious, and he crushed it. Yeah, this way. This is, oh my god, okay. This really is an excellent adventure, gonna be honest. Yo, that mohawk is wild. If you can do better, please do it. <laughs> Duck. Ooh, good plan, good job. Uh, some of these people are not your historical figures. Some of these people are not who you need. Wild Stallions rule. I think Abraham Lincoln would be most impressed. Well, you're gonna get your chance to ask him because here he comes. So it seems we may be one report short today. I mean, are we surprised? Oh, it's go time. It's go time. I bet that'll make you listen. Don't be weird, Missy. Bodacious philosophizer and a <laughs> Rule. This is so great. This is so great. Running. They're gonna pass high school! Oh god, we don't need this. We don't need one of these right now. We don't need to have an existential crisis. There's too much to unpack. Just got a minor Oedipal complex. Oedipal complex?! <laughs> and this is like, um, excuse me? Oedipus. Oh, I'm so glad he's getting to use modern keyboards! Bon Jovi, slippery when wet. <laughs> out there. Y'all didn't do nothing for this. One of the greatest presidents. Just the way they stand is so funny. Upon our most excellent adventure. Party on, dude. Be excellent to each other. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dude! Wasn't ready for Abraham to break the fourth wall. <laughs> People about to watch you time travel in this photo, in this, in this phone booth. People about to watch this happen. Bonus points for a killer exit. I mean, yeah, what do you do? You don't you don't question that. You just accept it as fact. We got an A-plus in our history report. Hell yeah, you did. Y'all are coming back again to give yourself more advice? Oh, hey, Rufus. <gasps> the princesses! Credit cards. <laughs> oh, well, that's not gonna go well. Okay, Ted got a kiss on the lips. Bill got a kiss on the cheek. No way. Yes, yes way. way. Totally excellent music. That's you. And bring them into universal harmony. That's the power of music, y'all. Specifically Wild Stallions. Don't forget your autograph booklet thing. Don't forget your autograph booklet. Oh. Oh, nice. There's no heads on those. How do you tune them? I play a little. He's about to tear it up, ain't he? He about to go hard. That lick is most triumphant, dude. Excellent. Let's jam. Okay, but he's the only one that knows how to play! <laughs> they do get better. Well, that's good to know. 
I don't know, this seems like the kind of movie that would have something funny and quirky at the end. So let's see, I'm fast forwarding. Oh, no. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, honestly, honestly, this is really good. I think it's a lot of fun. And I stand by what I said is I think on like next level, I could have taken like half a gummy and this would have been like even better. I mean, I have no complaints. It's like really entertaining. I laughed the entire time. And also, I just feel like this is a fun little concept. I just had the best time. Young Keanu Reeves is way cuter than Keanu Reeves in Speed. I don't know what that says about me. This was just a lot of fun. Silly goofy. I stand also by what I said about bringing back crop tops for men. Embrace your body size, whatever that is, wear the crop top. And that goes for everybody. I think this movie totally stands the test of time. Like, it, I think it'll be fun for years. This was obviously clearly not the same movie with the teddy bear Ted. I was way off on that guess. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, five out of five stars. Lots of laughs for me, had a great time. Would totally watch this again. Would definitely take a gummy and rewatch it because I think it'd be even funnier then. So if you have not seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, it's most outstanding dudes. Party on, dude. <laughs> five stars for me on Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Chris, thank you so much for getting me to watch this and support you do and the support that you give for me, Beans, and the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around. Coming up Monday is The Matrix. And I think next Friday, Bleeding Green is going to keep me in the MCU. Hallow Beans is right around the corner. That's coming up in October where Mondays and Fridays, scary movies in night vision, in the dark, me alone by myself. Wednesday is more lighthearted. So I hope you stick around for that as well. Links to social media down below, including the new Discord server that just got started. Shout out to Tyler and Sarah, Bleeding Green, everybody who mods that and started it. Thank you so much for that. And uh, yeah, see you right back here on Monday. Bye.